Father, when that happens, heaven makes a, a way when there is no way. Amen. And your supernatural love and your grace comes like a river. And that you can pick anybody who calls upon your name up and establish them in your strength. And set them in a place of authority teaching them to rule and reign all on earth as they are in heaven. Thank you, Father, that you sent Jesus to the cross after walking on earth, showing us what we're really supposed to be like and who you created us to be. And then he went to the cross and paid the price so that we could be as he was on earth and is now in heaven. We thank you for that, Lord. Father, we ask forgiveness for the body of Christ for not seeing all that you've done, all that you've provided. Father, forgive me for for and forgive corporately the body of Christ that has gotten caught up in complacent satisfaction. Father, we ask forgiveness on behalf of all the leadership of the body of Christ, in Jesus' name, and we thank you, Father. Father, we ask that you would release a wave of your anointing to draw all the leaders, all those that will listen and to truly put you as Lord or have put you partly as Lord but would surrender totally. We ask that you begin to draw them from the east and north, the west and the south into the fullness of what you have for them. And I thank you, Father, for a quick work. We just bind up and break off all the hindrances Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ, the Dodger, yes. over those people right now. Yes. We command them, those spirits to desist their maneuvering in their lives in Jesus' name. I thank yes. you, for, Father. I thank you for releasing them into full spiritual stature in this whole nation and around the world in the name of Jesus Christ, the Dodger. Father, I, I thank you. I ask that you has intercession to be done on planet earth for every person in leadership that the body of Christ can get the new vision of who we are in Christ Jesus and step in fully into who you've called us all to be and so that this end time harvest can come in quickly that you'd be able to do a quick work that you would just not only be able to do your heart's desire but that you would be exceedingly pleased in it in the harvest of what's about to take place during this climax of the ages and that we can lay our lives down fully and let you just take us and put us on like a coat and wear us and have your way. 
Father, teach us to walk in a way that you're not limited in any way by us slowing you down with what you want to do, but teach us how to be vessels of honor that you can take and flow through us and accomplish whatever you want, anytime you want, fully in Jesus' name. We thank you for our Father. God, thank you. So we receive intercession accomplished. Accomplished. We receive it done for the leadership and for the body in America and around the world. We receive people established in the glory, established in the strength, working in the abilities of heaven, on earth as they are in heaven, raising the dead, casting out devils, healing the sick, winning cities to you in a day. We receive it accomplished, Father. We thank you for it, Lord. On earth as it is in heaven, for release, for release. On earth as it is in heaven, we thank you for it, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you are unhindered in this hour because the intercession, because your eyes run to and fro and you found those that would stand in the gap to be faithful and to release all that you want released in this hour and now. I thank you, Father, you have free access to do whatever you please on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you for it, Father. I thank you for dropping faith in every person praying the Lord's prayer. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you, Father, for dropping faith that they know that heaven, and then heaven just begins to fall on planet earth, and the, and the glory covers the, the whole planet, Father. And I thank you for a downpour of the glory of God upon this region, even in a greater way than anywhere else. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for it, Father. I thank you for it, Father. Many have talked about it, but I thank you that it's here. But I thank you, Father, that you put on your sons and your daughters and then begin to anoint them in a greater way than ever before. I just thank you for the release of it and that they enter into the rest and learn to fully trust you and that you can strategically place each and every one in that place that you have for them. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it, Father. So we bless those. We thank you for increase of your government upon them, fasten them as a nailer or peg in a secure place, cause them to bring up honor to you as a glorious throne. And let them be known as the manifest sons of God in this region, as you know them to be, as you've foreseen us to be. Let it be released that others would begin to see, that in the hope would begin to rise up in the body of Christ in every way to begin to seek you in a new way. To begin to lay down their lives fully, not in part, but fully, not in part, but fully. Fully yielded vessels of the honor. Fully yielded vessels of the honor. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it, Father. We receive an army. We receive an army raised up. Raised up in this region. Warriors walking in the whole armor of God. Walking in the fullness of who you've made us to be. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you for it, Father. On earth as it is in heaven. Full release. I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you that the intercession has been accomplished. Because you find the faithful ones. You find the faithful ones and they interceded. I thank you, Father. I thank you that you called it all out as, it, as though it was. I thank you that we don't have to look and see what we see, but we can look and see what you said. And stand in your word, begin to see ourselves as you said it to be, rather than what we see with our eyes. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it, Father. Holy! We thank you for it, Lord. Hallelujah. I just knew, holy, new beginnings just happened. Holy, new releases of glory. I thank you, Father, for mentals, mentals, mentals falling into obedient ones, mentals in your glory, falling, 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 falling. I thank you for thrones being established, for sons and daughters to rule out of. In the name of Jesus, we just give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. We thank you for it, Father. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah, because you did it. You did it. You did it all. You did it all. <laughs> so we can stand tall. So we just thank you, Father, for fresh oil. And I, everybody in the of this region. In the name of Jesus, Father, I just thank you for all the homeless people. I thank you, Father, for giving them dreams and visions tonight. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, for it, Father, for catching some of them up to heaven. I thank you, Father. I thank you for it, Father. I thank you for giving them strategic ideas for new beginnings. Spirit of depression, we are under you bound. Spirit of bitterness, we are under you bound. Over, over all the homeless people in this whole city, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for it, Father. I thank you for a revival starting within the homeless right now. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for it, Lord. We give you praise. 
Hallelujah. You know, he's going to use them to provoke many to jealousy. Hallelujah. Like I said, I don't want the rock crying out for me. I want to do my own praises. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Shabbat day. Are you ready to, for, for the full release? Are you, are you preparing your hearts? Are you, are you ready to lay your life down fully and go for the ride of your life? Hallelujah. Are you ready to forsake seeing yourself in your natural eyes but begin to see yourself in his eyes through his word? But that's how you, you really are. He's prophesied. Yes. And every word that he spoke about you, you can catch him and let it carry you, pegging yes. you in this, the destiny that he has for you. For it's time for my heavenly kind to shine, to rise up. In my power, this is the hour. So don't let the things of yesterday choke your future. Let go of those things in our past, forgetting those, and press on towards the mark of the high calling. And I shall establish you in the fullness of who I've called you to be. Yeah. And you'll even see more than what you've seen, because every step you take towards me, there's going to be a new release of even more than I have for you. Yeah. So come on up into the fullness. And each and every step you take, I'm going to spoil yeah. you with my goodness along the way yes. and dry you, because my... The word says that my goodness will lead you to come higher, lead you to repentance, to come higher, to higher, to higher, even to where you have sat down in me in the fullness of my strength, that I may display it openly. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? <laughs> See, it's like when you step this direction, he's gonna he's gonna put the he's gonna put the signet ring on you. The prodigal son got the thing different. He just came home. He got he got cloaked with the with the coat. Father threw a party, but he did. He got he he come back into the kingdom. He come back to his father's house, and he got the full authority of the house. Yes. See, when you just step the direction of the Lord, He's ready to gird you up. And make your pathways like butter. And bring you to that oneness with him. That's the place where the struggles go away. Amen. That's the place where you're fully supplied. You don't have to look no more. Yes. Into the realm of the natural. Because he's got you in the supernatural. <coughs> Hello. Yes. Glory to God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. <coughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. I just heard pivotal meaning here today. Hallelujah. Pivotal meaning. There's a place of things changing, changing, changing. There's a release. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for giving your angels charge over us and all those. Yes. That you've been called, Ooh. that you have called. Yes. I thank you, Father. Jika. Jika. For the angel of the throne room is here. Holy! Yes. The angel of Zuzu, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for it, Father. Ooh. We acknowledge your presence. I thank you. Holy, 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 holy. Yes. Vitamin. I thank you for Thank you for it, Lord. Hey, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for it, Father. I thank you, Lord. Shara Boshi, Tibe, Namode. Yes, no, we thank you, for me, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord is saying that he wants us to understand um, circles. <laughs> and there are circles of circ there are three circles. And they're connected, like in a Venn diagram kind of. Three circles. And there are circles of circumstances that we find ourselves in. 
and that circle of circumstance is is a, a lot of our flesh realm. There's some mixture of our of our spirit wanting and churning after God because He's called us, and we've often been caught in circles of circumstance that that are are in in this realm cause us to to occupy time in a way that isn't very beneficial to anyone but it is part of our journey and there's nothing wrong about our journey because our journey is based on who we are and 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 how god has called each one of us the second circle is the circle of cycles and and the spirit of god is saying that there are cycles of time that i've put upon the earth there's chronological time and then there's kairos time in the circle of cycles there is kairos time which means that he himself is involved in your life in a degree in a way according to your surrender and he allows cycles of time to pass because in your journey of learning falling being broken uh, being and then coming more to surrender he brings you around to the same thing and he gives you the opportunity many times in your life to be obedient and yet he doesn't hold anything against us when we choose when we don't choose life because it's always offered to us to choose life or to choose death often we choose death and we continue in the circle so we're out of the circle of just mere circumstances that our ego wants to build us up into something of a kingdom and that's exactly why satan fell and what the whole plan of satan is on this earth is to get you caught up only in the first circle but we progress to the second circle because god is involved in our lives and he has control ultimately of our decisions it's like a proportion when we surrender we surrender uh, 20 percent and we get a harvest of 20 percent and he has the legal right to be in our life 20 that that it's a it's a it's it's, it's a uh, secret it's a secret <laughs> hidden in us in us that that over time in that that kairos time the god time he breaks us he cycles us he brings us closer to the obedience that he is asking of, of us so that we're able by his grace to surrender more and more so in that circle in that circle we are experiencing more of the kairos time the time of god we get to the place where the circuit of time is the next circle that intersects with this with the second circle and in that circle god himself the creator of the universe is riding it he's riding circuits of time that are a different kind of time outside of this realm of the earth and it's the now time it's now is the time of salvation he says now is the time of salvation and in this circle in this place we get to ride the circuits with our father god and this is all what Jim has been talking about, the throne, the throne room. We're seated next to our Father in the throne room, in the kingdom. We find the kingdom within, and we actually are operating now in a place where God is now all the time with us, in mm -hmm. us, for us, through us. That he accomplishes the ultimate in this in these circuits we don't understand them but he wants us to understand all of the secrets of being a friend of him so the challenge is that in the time that we're living in right now god is accomplishing our father the fullness of time he's like bringing the belt around us it's like a conveyor belt and he's got this belt that he's connecting all three circles and it's like a watch you know mm. it's like a watch we go from circle one and it's intersecting with circle two and then it's intersecting with circle three but there's a belt and that's like that's like wow Lord, that's that's amazing that belt is wow i don't get it god but 
but you're, you're wanting us to understand more of the deeper things and more of the, of, of the abundance of life and fellowship and wonder and splendor and amazing. There's an amazing essence. There's an amazing fragrance in this place. There's, there's a place where we never, ever want to leave. It's like, no, I'm not going back. I'm not going back to the circumstances of life. No way am I going back there. And But you can, if you will to, because he will not cross your will. But he is able to keep us according to what we've given to him during our, during this whole process. Like, Jim is saying, and people are saying, and ministers are saying, lay down now, lay down, surrender. Surrender it all so you can get up in resurrection life because, you know, unless you get up in the resurrection life and consider yourself dead according to Romans 6, you, uh, you ain't got it to give to the body right now. And he wants to deliver us. Now, the other word he's saying is, he's saying judgment and deliverance. Uh, when the church started in Acts 2-4, Peter. Peter recognized that from Joel, the prophet spoke in the last days, the spirit would be poured out upon all flesh. And this, this book is for today because it started the church age. And the church age is now ending. And so we need to get a revelation of what Joel the prophet was saying. What Joel the prophet in essence was saying is in one capsule, he was saying, judgment, the day of the Lord is upon us, is what our father is saying right now, the day of the Lord is upon us. What is the day of the Lord? The day of the Lord is judgment on the nations. The day of the Lord was the day of the Lord at that time because, because the country was being invaded, because they weren't being obedient to God. But at the same time, on the other side of the coin was deliverance. And the whole book is about deliverance as in giving birth. Giving birth. Giving birth to who? The man child. Mm -hmm. Giving birth when? At the end of the age. How? By travail. That's why you pray about travail last night. And there were people in travail. We don't understand what we're, one, what we're walking into quite yet, but we're walking into, on one hand, the severe judgment of the Lord on the nations that have refused to hear. It's a wonderful thing because it's going to come down like mighty rushing waters, like the mightiest rushing water off of the mountaintop when the spring comes and, and it melts the water and it comes into the creeks and it gushes down the valleys, that's what judgment is. It's not a bad thing, it's a cleansing thing, it's a wonder, it's a splendorous thing. On the other side, there's fear because people are in their circumstances of life and they're in that first circle and they only want to survive. They think that's what it's about, but it's not about that. It's about deliverance. It's about deliverance. And on, on the mountain, Mount Zion, there's the rocks and the dryness, and there's the judgment on one side. And on this side, there's the lush and the green, and the, and the rain is falling, the second rain is falling, the harvest is over here, and the whole earth is around. And it's receiving the latter rain because we're praying it in. Now we have to be praying it in. And that's what deliverance means in the second wave, that there is, there is judgment that first comes to the church and we must surrender. If we don't surrender, we won't be part of it. And then there's deliverance, and there will be the manifestation of the sons of God, but it won't come except by great travail, and it won't come unless we are fully surrendered 100% to his will, and we seek him, and we seek him with all of our heart, all of our heart. Revival, is about people that seek him with all of their heart because they have surrendered all and they've been delivered 
from this realm. And all they want is to see God accomplish what he wants to accomplish in this last day. The Lord our God, our Father God, is going to give us a vision of what that looks like. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a lot of travail. It's going to be people coming together in, in tribes, like we've said, in communities, like you've said. There are going to be groups that he'll put together in homes. There'll be things happening under here, underneath everything, because it starts with prayer and intercession. And then it starts with people going out as they're directed by God and being, okay, what, what, did, what today, Lord? Well, I want you to go to 64th and 7th Street. And on that, you'll see that man. And I want you to minister to him. It's going to be that explicit, like it's going to be that clear yes. that we're going to be able to know yes. what our directives are because we yes. really are going to be able to hear because we'll have a pure heart. Because the pure in heart and the meek in heart are going to see God. We're going to see Him. And when we see Him, we'll be like Him. But it takes this, this great movement of the ages that He's brought us to. This great, amazing time that we're living in where, okay, are you willing and are you going to be obedient to enter into the land? And of course, we know what the land is. The land is here. Are you going to enter there and move out from there as an army? Now, when we come to the place where we're the army of God and we're standing shoulder to shoulder, arm in arm, and we're not breaking rank, then we're going to see whole cities Amen. and whole countries come to God. Amen. You know, it's. There's that place that, the biggest thing that, there's a place for travailing and uh, over an area. Um, my biggest thing about travail is, is Father causing me to travail until I level off in his authority. And then I can speak as he wants me to speak. So for me, travail is the place of coming to where, holy, where his power. I mean, I, I, there's a place of, like, like when I'm fasted up, it'd take me like six, seven minutes to enter into this place where he brings me through travail, and then, what's, and then you know you have what's ever you say before you speak it. That's it. And when I'm not fasted up as much, it might take me an hour to enter into that place. If I don't have enough word in my heart, I can pray for an hour and I get any traction and get into that place for it. So whatsoever you say, the Lord, he comes on you. So Jesus, when, when he went through his 40 days, he can have whatsoever you said. And so there's that place in each one of us because when, when, you, when he begins to speak through you, there's that authority that comes. You see, it, that's like that, the kingly anointing, but really... Is there not any strife amongst you, and are you not yet carnal and have not learned to talk yet? So, to me, so there's that place of travail. You know, you can say for the nations and stuff, but when there's intercession and in, in groanings, you know, it talks about Romans 8. And Father can do stuff in that, but the majority of your prayer time in your prayer language is praise, entering his gates with thanksgiving and with praise. And then when you're in his gates, then the authority comes in strength. Mm -hmm. And then you yeah. can frame up regions, you can frame up blocks for for um, for the, his power to have free access, bind up power of the enemy over that whole area. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it, so to me it's like and what I've learned about intercession is there's a place of travail of getting me in this submission. That's the major tra travail that I've that mm -hmm. I've grown up with.